The following video is sponsored by the generous people at ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is your one-stop shop for sticker sheets for Transformers of all generations, from reproduction labels for the oldest pieces in your collection, to upgrade sets for the most recent retail releases. They also make labels for G.I. Joe, figure display backgrounds, and more. ToyHacks.com Welcome back to Stick It! My name is Kit, and today we'll be taking a look at the Toy Hacks labels for Earthrise Cliff Jumper. This set has 25 separately numbered stickers on three sheets and costs $10. I've been wanting to review the stickers for Cliff Jumper since the inception of this series, but I balked from it at first due to the sheer number of options you're given. You essentially get three complete sets, and I only have the one Cliff Jumper, so the scope of this review will be rather narrow. You get options to turn this Autobot Warrior into a standard Porsche 924 Turbo, like the Generation 1 toy, albeit with much more detail, or the look Cliff Jumper sported in the All Hail Megatron comics, which I never read. Go figure. The layout that caught my eye the most was that based on the Mitsubishi Starion, the car this mold evokes a little more closely. Out of solid red, red and white, and red and black, the lattermost option suits my tastes the most. The most striking feature in this mode is the heavy black stripe running along the hood vent with smaller red and white pinstripes. It really gives Cliff Jumper a muscle car feel, sort of bringing some CNA from his prime incarnation in some esoteric kind of way. Those stripes are reproduced on the side skirts to good effect. All four brake pads get shiny chrome rings that complement the silver rims nicely. Initially I was concerned about popping off the wheels, but so far I haven't had any ill effects. It's not like you'll be popping them in and out constantly, either. These darkly tinted windows are prescribed for both the Mitsubishi and All Hail Megatron layouts, though you do get some cel-shaded options if you're feeling cartoonish. Normally, I like the cel-shaded windows included in toy hack sets, but in this case, I far prefer this really slick dark tint. On the rear window, I used this IDW-inspired Autobot symbol as a window decal like you'd find on any normal car on the road. I would have been fine going without a symbol entirely, but this kind of customizability really tickles me. At the tail, the rear lights are fabulously detailed, and you get multiple options for a license plate. Mine is... It's a gas! Robot mode is just as vehicle mode, though with fewer changeable options. I suppose that's just the nature of having so much of one's vehicle mode remaining visible. Most of the work will have already been done. The shoulders get some added black gearing detail in addition to the extra black revealed via those paint chip tabs. Since I used the Starion loadout, I used the complementary black thigh stickers with matching red and white pinstripes. The other option you get, presumably for both other loadouts, is a flat grey, which I think kind of clashes. The ankle buckles, for a lack of a better descriptor, and the isosceles codpiece are standard for each iteration. For comic accuracy fans, or classics cliff jumper enjoyers, you get a small red patch that goes over his chin, which I elected to go without as it doesn't really fit my tastes. Finally, Cliff Jumper's bazooka gets some generic detail on its back end, nothing too fancy. I've mentioned before that I like the slight customizability factor Toy Hacks' labels grant me, and Cliff Jumper is the greatest exemplar of this so far. Three entirely distinct looks that are still open-ended enough for plenty of cross-pollination really makes me feel like I'm adding my own personality into the figure, that each person who gets this set will be able to make their own perfect version of Cliff Jumper. I would say that I wish there were more sets like this, but the fact that so many stickers go unused, unless you're the kind of person to buy multiple copies, does keep me from outright demanding you order it. If Cliff Jumper is one of your favorite characters at least, you won't be disappointed. If you liked this video or otherwise found it helpful or informative, then please subscribe for more reviews like this in the future, and feel free to suggest topics for future reviews in the comments. Next time on the show, we'll be joined with one of the biggest movie stars of the 1980s, so stick around for the next Stick It. This has been Kit Catastrophe, Transform, and Roll Out.